Hello everyone, this is Umair Hassan and you are watching CSS uh, GSA lecture series. Uh, today our topic is very important and interesting well, that is pictogram. This is from statistical diagrams uh, in which we are going to study about bar graph, we are going to study about uh, histograms, we are going to study about pie charts. Uh, and so uh, this is all about statistical diagrams in which we will learn how to display and interpret the data okay uh, uh, if you want to uh, have the previous lectures of the lecture series you can go into my playlist uh, you can subscribe the channel you can also have the solution of past paper of CSS GSA that is also available in the playlist with the name of CSS past papers so keep watching on every Friday Saturday Sunday I will be uploading lectures on these days so today my topic is pictogram statistics is all about uh, collection of data, uh, its display of data, then its interpretation uh, and its analysis. Uh, so how you display uh, the data that you have collected? We use different diagrams. Pictogram is one of those diagrams that are used to display the data to interpret the data as well. Now there was a question in CSS uh, I think that was about pictogram, uh, what is a pictogram uh, uh, and its difference as far as bar chart or I think histogram is concerned. So pictogram is basically a diagram. A diagram is used to represent the number of values of your data. For example, if I have 100 markers, 100 markers and I ask you to draw a pictogram then I am not going to draw 100 markers I will draw one marker and I will say that this one marker is equal to 10 markers in diagram this one marker will be equal to 10 markers so to represent 100 markers I will draw 10 markers because one marker is equal to 10 so 10 markers are equal to 100 so this one marker which is equal to 10 marker this is called key of your pictogram so pictogram has got a key mean in which they have told you that this one diagram of marker represents how many markers you can use your own key you can say that one marker represents 20 markers key varies and that is according to me if I want to have one marker equal to 10 marker that is my choice you can use one marker equal to 20 markers so that tries on your decision okay so what are basic characteristics of pictogram or what is a pictogram basically small symbol are used to represent quantities yes we use small symbols we use diagram to represent quantities this is pictogram then a key is provided to show that each diagram represents how many numbers as I have told you a key is used and I will be explaining that with the help of example it is more appealing more attractive because diagrams are always more attractive so it is more attractive we have we we are we face difficulty while representing the data using the symbols because uh, to draw a half symbol is difficult so using symbols to represent data is sometimes difficult as well and uh, one more thing it is used to represent discrete data uh, discrete data is a data uh, which have uh, exact number of uh, values like uh, uh, a number of students number of students are either uh, they are they are whole numbers 5 10 15 you will not be having number of students as uh, uh, 20.5 students in class no that is not possible either there are 20 students either there are 21 students or 22 students so discrete data is about the complete values and there is a continuous data well that is a data which fall in a certain range like height height of individual uh, they may be 72.5 uh, centimeters 
so uh, they they fall between 72 and uh, 73 centimeter uh, so so uh, when your data values fall in a in a certain range that is continuous data discrete data is a, a whole value of something okay so so these are the characteristic of histogram uh, and number of figures are proportional to data values the more the figures are the more will be the data values so how to construct there can be two type of question in your css paper either they will be asked they are, will ask you to uh, define a histogram and i have told that what are the characteristics advantages or disadvantages the next thing is how to draw a pictogram and the third thing is how to interpret a pictogram well i will try but i think we are gonna do just drawing of a pictogram so this is a data this table shows the data values uh, well in year 2008 number of buses that registered in a particular city they were 10,000 then in 2009 how many buses registered in a particular city they were 20,000 in 2010 how many buses got registered they were 30,000 and in 2011 how many buses got registered in a certain city 35,000 this is a given data collected data and we are going to display this data using a pictogram and analysis is the next part or uh, interpretation is the next part of uh, this one so how how to draw this one the first of all you are going to select a key that uh, this one bus one single bus represents how many buses obviously you are not going to draw 10,000 buses against the year 2009 2008 that is not possible so you are going to use a symbol that this one single bus represents for me 5000 buses this is key selected by myself so if this one bus represents 5000 i am going to display all of this data so in 2008 you have how many buses you have 10000 buses so if one single bus represents 5000 buses then to represent 10000 buses you need to draw two buses so in 2008 you will be drawing two buses each bus represents 5000 to represent 20000 you need to draw four buses one bus is for 5000 buses second bus is for next 5000 five, 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 20000 buses in 2009 in 2010 we have 30000 buses and one bus represents 5000 and to represent 30000 you need to draw one two three four five and six buses uh, and the last one is 35000 well this is interesting uh, this is for 5000 10000 15 20 25 30 and this one is 35 well you need to complete this one like this it is half why it is half it shouldn't be half so because each one is representing 5000 buses each one each one bus represents 5000 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 buses represents 35000 so uh, and suppose uh, suppose if there would have been 30 2500 32500 buses so you are going to draw uh, six buses complete six buses represent 30000 and the next 2500 will be represented by half bus half bus represents 2500 if full bus represents 5000 then half bus half bus will be like this like this one this is half bus half bus will be representing 25 100 buses so in this way you are going to uh, draw a pictogram using a data so key is important you are going to display data using figures uh, each figure represent a certain number this is more appealing so all the characteristics are uh, here in the diagram so this is construction of a pictogram now in my next video i will be using some data I will be uh, using a pictogram to interpret that one. So keep watching. Thank you so much.